the last show has made the cut pun not intended for sure putting all doubts all guesses and all discussions and subsequent lobbying to rest the small budget gujarati drama chelo show also known as the last show has been selected as india's official entry for the academy awards for the international film category for the year 2023 the coming of age drama follows a young boy in a small village in gujarat and snared by the magic of cinema so much so that he goes on to bribe a projectionist to watch films in his theater the pan nalan helmed film stars bhavan rabri Bhave Shrimali, Richa Meena, Dipen Rawal and Paresh Mehta in prominent roles. The film is yet to be released in the theaters and the big screen launch is scheduled for late 2022. Let us tell you that this is the second Gujarati film in the last 10 years to have been selected for the honor. The first was Gyan Korea's The Good Road which was chosen in 2013. Pan Nalan has been a noted name in the international award circuit with his previous title Samsara Valley of Flowers and Angry Indian Goddesses earning special mentions at festivals such as the AFI Fest and the Melbourne International Film Festival All close to the Art House School of Filmmaking qualifying well for the Oscars usual selection Reacting to the feat, Nalan said that he is happy that people in India too will discover the movie now and he can now believe that cinema entertains, inspires and enlightens. The movie also captures themes including the transition of cinema from celluloid to digital. The love letter of a young kid to the cinema reminds us of cinema paradiso. one of the greatest films of all time and a coming of age drama centered on a small kid's friendship with a cinema projectionist and by the by this 1988 classic backed both the academy award for best foreign language film and the cannes film festival's grand prix coming back to the indian landscape the last show has beaten ss rajamouli's period drama triple r and Vivek Agnihotri's political drama The Kashmir Files both contenders in the race for recognition Triple R meanwhile was the hot favorite and hence Twitter is mighty disappointed claiming that the Film Federation of India committee undermined the buzz around the epic drama This when Indian films anyway struggle to be recognized amidst the Oscar hopefuls clutter The reason the campaign for Triple R was on the roar was because after shattering records with its global collections, the movie also remained in Netflix's top 10 for 14 weeks straight. And that makes for exactly the kind of international phenomenon which naturally casts into award season potential, reminding us of The Parasite. Bong Joon-ho's similar success story, and we all know how that panned out. Triple R follows two patriots essayed by Ram Charan and Junior NTR who team up in order to rescue a girl from British colonial officials in the 1920s. The film has won over fans in both Indian and international circuits with its breathtaking action sequences, rigorous and insinuating drama and power-packed performances. Most recently, Variety released a list of actors who might make it for the Oscars 2023, and NTR's act as Komaram Bhim earned a name in the esteemed catalog. Filmmaker Anurag Kashyap too had rooted for Triple R as the official entry based on the impact the movie had on the West, claiming that people had been reaching out to him, raving about the cinematic marvel. Who knows? Triple R could have emerged to be India's brave heart or gladiator walking up against the ranks. But Oscars are known to be a little biased towards our type cinema. And by that measure, the last show seems to be the right choice. 
with only three Indian film nominations in total, namely Mother India, Salam Bombay and Lagan, we're waiting to see another film add to this coveted list, if not a win. The 95th Academy Awards will be held on March 12, 2023 at the Dolby Theatre in Los Angeles and let's hope for the best. What do you have to say about the last show's nomination and triple R snub? Do let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to Shosha for your daily entertainment fix.